a third property of the Kangen water is called microclustering. Okay, so easiest way for me to explain this to you is if you think about, let's say you're at a softball game and there's a chain link fence, okay, and you have some softballs and you're gonna try to throw those through the fence. Probably you're not gonna be able to throw them through, right? They're probably gonna repel. Okay, but what if I had some marbles or BBs in my hand and I looked at the fence and I threw those through? Well, those might have a better chance, right? Those will probably go through. Well, this is the same thing that's happening when you're drinking bottled or tap water. They're not really penetrating and entering the cell. In fact, you're only getting about 17.5% hydration at most inside of your cell. And by the way, you need about 60% hydration inside the cell. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is the demonstration with a tea bag. The tea bag is going to re represent your body here. Okay, this is just a Yamamoto tea bag, green tea. And it's a porous bag, just like the inside of our body or the in our tissue and our organs. So what I'm going to do is try to make some tea with tap water, okay? Just regular old tap water. Usually we have to heat up the water, but I'm going to go ahead and use room temperature. We'll see if we can make some tea here. I don't see a lot of tea. Do you? Not really. Let's try again with the Kangen water. I'm going to put this in here. I think you guys can see a difference in those two cups, okay? So we're able to really penetrate the tea bag and make tea with the Kangen water. Now, a lot of people say, well, Lauren, the tea bag was wet. So just for you guys, I'm going to go back to the tap water and I'm going to try to make some tea again. This is like those softballs I'm trying to throw against the fence. They're not going through. So if you can see that, didn't make tea. I'm going to go back to the marbles or BBs or our Kangen water. And you can see I go back to making the tea. Huge difference, right? So when you're drinking this water, it starts entering your cell, bringing in the energy, taking out the waste. And really, once you start doing that, you'll probably start feeling some more energy because your cells are going to start to be hydrated. So it's important to think about your body because you are made of water. So it's really important for you to think about what the quality of water is that you're putting inside of your body. Okay, we usually take better care of our cars than we do of the inside of our body. So I'm gonna ask you a question. What kind of water is building your muscles? Those are 75% water. What about your brain, 80% water? Is your brain even hydrated? Do you have headaches all the time? These are some things to start thinking about. How about your blood, 90% water? So what's the quality of water that's carrying your blood around your body? These are some things you need to start asking yourself, okay? And a lot of people come to me with different juices and, and all these different things. I'm going, well, I'm not really made of juice. I'm made of water. So I want the best quality water I can find inside of my machine, right? Because I only get one of these. 